So I want to show you an issue I have with my controller here. And basically, if I go to calibrate, and I'm going to try to hold this and do this and show you. Um, I've got this little wheel back here that controls the gimbal, right? I wish there was a way to modify that wheel because I'd like it to be opposite. But if I turn to the left and I'm barely, barely moving it, that brings the gimbal down, right? However, if the wheel goes overextended, well, you know, like, so I've got probably, you know, 50, look at that. So it's so, I gotta go so slowly and I still have probably, you know, I'm only at 50, 60% of the wheel turn. And if I extend it, look, I get this error. Um, if I go to the right, I don't have that problem. And it's, I think it's because I, you know, I have the sensitive sensitivity down. Look at that, see, this is the error. Now, I've reinstalled Go. I think the the problem is actually the firmware has been corrupted. I've been using Ma uh, Maps Made Easy. So I want to show you this too. The, why do I have this nap? I mean, I did have tape on here and the tape has kind of made this dirty. Get some alcohol clean that off. But I want to show you how sensitive these, this joystick is and why I actually use this. And actually I put this paper on the bottom, it comes with it, to stop it from sticking so that these these things move so I'm trying to do so you can see how little I move the stick see I, I'm barely moving at 4% 5% up there okay, got a low battery on my iPad again going up pushing up on the 6 7 and I'm barely looking at look at how, how little I'm moving it right so what this does is it gives you significant more control over the, over the flight Whereas if I didn't have this, I move it a little bit, it'd be like boom, 40%. You know, I get this really crazy wing movement and everything else. It's just completely out of control. The same thing here. Now the reason why I have this is, is our off, the secondary off. Straight down, it's off. And the other cool thing is, actually has a little bit of a catch in here, so I have like an automatic down. So I don't have to keep holding it. I just have to remember to pop it back up. And again, look at look at the sensitivity as I move my thumb to the left. The additional resistance this is providing is helping to basically give me more control. So I just wanted to show you why, why I, I kind of screwed up. Now, what they should have in their firmware, DJI, is a mouse controller settings where I could adjust the sensitivity of the craft based on the movement of this. So I basically could have a slider under here, right? And I can basically say, you know, max, you know, so this is this is 100% and I can move my slider down on each controller and up and down to vary the power level. So you can have a controller here, a controller here, a controller on this side, a controller here. This one obviously is the power of the left and right. This one would be the power of the up and down. And just like a mouse uh, settings, I can basically have it set. I basically don't want it on such a high control rate because it, it takes away from the filming quality. Anyway, so my issue is this, how do I update an already updated controller to get, you know, the, the, the reinstall the firmware. I don't want to install new firmware, I want to reinstall the firmware and basically the way that the controller is set up, if it detects that the firmware is already in there, it won't reinstall it. So that's a problem. I don't know if there is actually a setting to wipe this out. I don't see a setting or button on here or anything. I don't know if there's a mechanism, or like a double. If I, if I have this open and I do a double squeeze and hold, right, maybe if I do Double squeeze and hold and power. Will it give me a reset? It's not. If I do a, a left and power, does it give me a reset? So I'm basically pressing the different buttons here, trying to get a reset coming up. If I do a power and hold. 
Kaju. It's not giving me any reset. So maybe DJI has built in a factory reset, something to wipe the filmware from the controller. That'd be great. If they haven't, they really should, because here I am in a situation where I'm trying to basically wipe my firmware to reinstall a new one. Any ideas would be great. My name is Mike Trout, here loving my drone, flying it, and um, I'm doing a lot of filming, a lot of mapping, um, and it's been, a, it's been a great experience so far, except for a little frustrating here and there. But overall, it's been really good.